All right, everyone, so we're looking at the seedlings today. And I wanted to show you guys the progress because I just came back from a nice weekend away from the house and came back and saw that all of these seedlings here, all most of the seeds have come up. Different tomato varieties. Um, they're looking real nice. We took the lid, I just took the lids off. Because the lids, if you leave the lid on this this bin here, there's so much humidity that builds up. I mean, just look at the lid. Let me show you guys the lid. There's all kinds of water there. And that is not what we want. We just want the lid on there and all that trapped humidity to keep these guys nice and moist so that they can germinate well, right? The soil has to stay wet um, during the germination process. Not too wet, but wet enough so that these guys can come up. So now that the uh, the seedlings have come up, we're gonna take the lid off and uh, we'll let these guys hang out here in the actual room's humidity, which is currently 16% according to that. I think it's roughly around there, probably 16 to 20%. Very, very low. Um, you know, it's really important to do this. I maybe have even wanted to do this yesterday. I'm gonna keep an eye on these and see if maybe I took the lid off too soon. You can see that some of these are a bit leggy, but what I think I'm gonna do is actually raise the seedlings up a bit higher, if I can. The problem is up here, the lights are so close to the bin as it is that the light's a bit further away from the plants because there's some extra space here. And if I can get rid of this space, perhaps raise the pots up a bit higher to be at the top of this bin, then they'll be closer to the light and that will be more photosynthesis for them. I wanna show you guys this bin here. This is all of the, um, the onions. Let me put you guys down for just one second. see the onions down in here and they're coming up right but you know they may take a little bit longer than the tomatoes and the eggplant that I have in the other bin we also have on this side here some alpine strawberries which have yet to come up I know these are very difficult to germinate I may continue to struggle with these we may have to take a different um, course of action but I'm still not satisfied with the germination of the onions just yet and as a result, I really want to make sure that the germination is good and we need to give these more time. I need to keep the soil continually moist. So what I'm going to do is keep the bin, keep the lid on the bin uh, for a bit longer and that'll be it. So anyway, guys, this is a little short one here. I just wanted to show you guys the progress of really how this all works. Uh, 250 days of gardening starts here. This is the video playlist that we're starting for 2019 so you guys can see all the gardening things that's going on in my backyard and hopefully you can follow along so i'll catch you guys later and uh see you for tomorrow's video take care